Sports tomorrow at 4 o'clock. GHQ, the gerbil races, $16,000 phone call. Congratulations to Mrs. Russell Bartle, a $176 winner today. I'm Paul Olis. Have a nice evening. The news is next on Newswatch 16. Proud to serve Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania. This is WNEP 16, the news station. Now, Nolan Johannes, Karen Hart, pilot Jack Rulin in Skycam 16, Chief Meteorologist Tom Clark, and Joe Zone on sports. This is Newswatch 16. Some anticipated traffic problems near the Wyoming Valley Mall are on hold, at least for one day. Last week we told you that road work was expected to start today at the main entrance to the mall in Wilkes-Barre Township. News 116's Mark Davis says the work was postponed, but Mark gives us an idea of what to expect when it does begin. Beginning Tuesday morning, anyone who wants to go into or around the Wyoming Valley Mall is going to find themselves in the position that I'm in right now, stuck in traffic. That's because Monday Street is the only alternative to getting into the mall, while the main entrance undergoes some repair and maintenance work. Additional cars using Monday Street are expected to create a few traffic tie-ups, because Monday Street is already congested at certain times during the day. So if you're heading to the mall, or use Monday Street to get home or to work, it might be a good idea to plan on using and taking a little extra time while this work is being done. Now the work was scheduled to already have started, but as you can see, it hasn't. Now the signs are up, but that's not stopping traffic. People are just going around the signs. I'm told there have been some last minute delays and construction will start on Tuesday. And now mall officials just hope that the work can still be finished in two weeks and then things can get back to normal. Mark Davis, Newswatch 16 at the entrance to the Wyoming Valley Mall. Our chief meteorologist Tom Clark is next with his forecast. And Tom, I understand there's more than just the outlook. Tom. That's right, a little something extra tonight. You know, I hate to say it, but it won't be too much longer before that white stuff begins oh. falling from the sky. <laughs> and since nobody's lower back enjoys shoveling snow, mm -hmm. we want to give away a brand new snowblower. Oh. Okay? Oh. Now, stay tuned because when we come back, I'm going to explain how you can win. So get your paper and pencil ready. I've just coined a new saying, a dollar saved is a dollar earned. And when you shop at Acme, you really save dollars. For Columbus Day, Acme's reduced ragu spaghetti sauce. Traditional style, all flavors, only $1.29 each. Ragu home style, just $1.29 for regular meat or mushrooms. And there's new chunky garden style, all flavors, only $1.29 each. As my friend George would say, I cannot tell a lie. Acme's your store for low prices, honest. The and now, the winner in the News Watch 16 News Game. It was close last week among all the schools taking the weekly news game quizzes, but the class with the most correct answers is the U.S. Government Economics class, UX, uh, economics class, that is, at Marion High School in Tamaqua. These students taught by Mr. Forgotch go to the head of the class as this week's winner in the weekly news game. Congratulations to Marion High School in Tamaqua. Now, if you, as a student or a teacher, are not competing in these current weekly, current events quizzes. There's still time to enter. Get on our mailing list for the weekly tests. Teachers should write to The News Game. News Watch 16 WNEP-TV of Oka, Pennsylvania 18641. And good luck to everyone competing this week. Uh -huh. Now let's find out about the forecast and that something extra mm -hmm. yeah. from Tom Clark. Tell us all about it, Tom. Okay, we've come up with a contest that I think you're going to enjoy and here's what you have to do to win. Now, on a postcard only, you want to include your name, your address, and your phone number, and the exact date and nearest hour when the first full inch of snow will have finished falling in the WNEP-TV backyard. Okay, the date and nearest hour for the first full inch. And entries must be mailed and not hand-delivered. And if you'd like, you can send in more than one entry, okay? And the postcard uh, must be in our hands before the day on which the first inch of snow falls. Now, in case of a tie, a drawing from all the correct entries will be held and the decision of the judges is final. There is the address there. On the postcard, Snowfall, WNEP-TV Backyard, Avoca, Pennsylvania, 18641. And again, uh, that's, that's 
a replica of me there. Use your imagination. It's kind of supposed to look like me in the snow there, measuring that first inch, but it looks like about five feet there. So get your postcards in, and uh, this ought to be a lot of fun. Here's what we have in the backyard now. We have a cloudy sky overhead, and the temperature is at 65. Humidity 66%. The wind velocity southwest at 10, and the barometer now is holding steady at 30.24 inches, up quite high. Range in temperature today, 68 and 55, and there was a touch of Indian summer in the air on this date back in 1916. Now, there's a display of some of the fall colors as they appear now in our front yard here at the Channel 16 studios, almost at a peak. Here we got a wide angle satellite view for you uh, showing the U.S. from coast to coast. A lot of clouds over Pennsylvania and the eastern states all because of warmer air trying to move up into Pennsylvania. There have been some showers in the central counties as close to us as Williamsport and some areas could see a brief shower tonight but nothing heavy and nothing steady. No rain tonight at Giant Stadium for Monday Night Football here on ABC. And there is a storm by the name of Josephine, 300 miles east of the Bahamas with winds now up to 55. That could become a hurricane before this week is through. Now, coming up, my forecast for tonight. No stargazing tonight. Uh, even the light of the moon, which is almost full, will be blocked out by clouds. A few showers in the western and central counties of Pennsylvania. Uh, probably dry up here in Wilkes-Barre and Scranton. Honesdale 55, Nanakoke, hometown at 54. Mifflinburg and Loyal Sock, low to middle 50s tonight. Now for tomorrow, the clouds will persist. At least uh, 10 shades of gray overhead. There could even be a passing shower, but rain no more than a half hour tomorrow, and it'll be very light. Halstead, Sweet Valley, Tannersville, Centralia, 66 tomorrow, uh, with a few local hot spots down there. 55 or 65 in Lock Haven tomorrow. Now the sunrise coming up for a Tuesday will occur at 7.09 and the sunset at 6.33 tomorrow night. But again, the cloudy pattern will persist through tomorrow. The risk of a passing shower on uh, Tuesday, 64. Now look at Wednesday, up to 67 degrees above normal. Some sunshine mixed with the clouds. Again, no rain on Wednesday, no rain on Thursday, 68. And I think we will approach the lower 70s Friday and Saturday to uh, end off the week. But don't forget, uh, on the contest, postcard only, postcard the date only. The and date. nearest hour the nearest hour when the first full inch of snow will have fallen in this first backyard. Full inch of snow. I, I don't think snow. we can qualify. No, but I, I, think, know we, something. I think we should enter anyway. <laughs> no? no, 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 no. Yeah? I'll tell you what, uh, what, the winner will not only get a snowblower, but a visit from Tom and Noreen Clark, who will personally plow the winner's driveway. Oh, that I want now to say. cooking. We'll now, everybody <laughs> will enter, right? right. That's Absolutely. worth waiting for, yes. Okay, I'm putting down a date anyway, right now, Karen. Okay. Uh, and I've got it right here, and I'll fold ah. this up, and you enter it right there. Tom, okay. I well, realize I we can't wrong. win, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Am I allowed that's to enter? Too early no, for you me. can enter, too. No, I, that's Go not ahead. fair. No, no that's okay. not fair. All right. Good luck, Tom. I'm sure that okay. everybody will be entering. It'll be a lot of fun. Thanks, Tom. That'll be fun. Well, Joe Zone is next with the sports tonight, though. Weekend wrap. Plus the new Super 16 list. Sports next as Newswatch 16 continues. <laughs> The great cars of Europe priced out of reach until now. Renault bridges the gap between European technology and affordability. Renault Alliance, a highly acclaimed, smooth, quiet ride, and sedan comfort for five. Renault Alliance, fuel injected, fuel efficient. European technology from Renault, Europe's leading car maker. Built in America and affordable. 10.9% financing now through October 31st. Details at participating dealers. Russell Shemansky of Hanover Township is part of a growing group of people. He just bought a VCR. It's estimated one in six families will own a video cassette recorder by the end of this year. It's complicated, but uh, it's, it's, it's really uh, something new. And I just went for it, and I do like it. Another part the consumers like is the price. Salesman Stan Baranski demonstrated this VCR for me, saying he bought one of the early models back in 1977. But now you can buy a VCR with more features for less than half of what he paid just seven years ago. 
Alan Gerstein of General Radio in Wilkesbury has been selling VCRs for the last 10 years and sees no immediate end to the buying boom. I think that uh, the saturation point has to be far, far in the future. Right now, the growth is astronomical, and I'm sure it'll stay that way for the next few years. Another added feature of owning a VCR is you can rent a tape of your favorite film for less than it costs to go to the movies. That's just one of the reasons why the Carmen Ambrosino family in Hughestown bought their VCR last year. Now they use it more than 10 hours a week and say it's made their TV viewing a little more selective. We watch more things as a family with the VCR. Uh, we kind of plan an evening together, uh, kind of make some popcorn. Everybody kind of sits around and watches a show uh, that we have taped uh, that, that all of us are very interested in. So, For this family and others, the VCR has turned into quite an investment. Mark Davis, Newswatch 16, Luzerne County. All right, and here's a man who needs somebody to shovel his sidewalk. Yeah, shovel. Right. That, that's nice. Maybe we, I think we should combine our gimmicks. Maybe all the winners of the news game can help the Clarks on the first time that it snows. <laughs> World Series set for tomorrow night in San Diego. I think it, that's going to be a big factor for the Padres, that it's in San Diego. They've established some momentum at home. They've got that going for them. And they've got a red-hot Steve Garvey who can carry a team by himself in the seven-game series. Garvey was named the playoffs' most viable player. Why not? He batted 400, knocked in seven runs, had this big home run Saturday night to win game four, to send it to a fifth game. Three times he's been named MVP in the NL playoffs. Still, he never takes a thing away from his teammates. All season long, we've always been a good comeback team. We've always fought back. We've played well at home. If we had lost the first two and were going to Chicago, I think it'd be a different story. We might not be in this situation now. But we were coming back to a, a stadium, to our 10th player, which is a fan that has supported us all year long, and been a, a big plus for us, essentially. And, and they were really worth two to three runs for us. Padres have the first two in their place. They'll go with 16-game winner Mark Thurman. The Tigers, who have home games 3, 4, and 5, will go tomorrow night with 19-game winner Milt Wilcox. All of our top-ranked teams won this past weekend. You know what that means. The changes in the Super 16 are at the bottom. Our new team at number 16 is, is Athens. They're 5-1. and one. Lords Regional, the Red Raiders, 5-1. and one. State College comes in for the first time at number 14. Our 13th ranked team, 6-0 and oh, East Stroudsburg. Lee Heighton, up a notch to number 12. Our 11th ranked team is Bloomsburg. They're also up a notch. Coming in at number 10, GAR. And then Nanakoke, undefeated. They're ranked 9th. Montoursville, undefeated and ranked 8th. In at seven is Honesdale. They're perfect so far. Hanover area, five and zero, oh, and ranked sixth at number five. Mount Carmel, Valley View with a four-one record is number four. Wyoming area, a perfect five and zero, oh, number three. North Pocono, undefeated at number two, and Berwick for the second week in a row, the number one team in the Super 16. And a record-setting day in the NFL yesterday as we take a look at it in the weekend wrap. When the game got underway, Chicago fans were anticipating a record-setting day from Walter Payton. And Walter, unlike the Cubs, didn't let the Chicago fans down. On this run, he broke the all-time rushing record of you-know-who, Jimmy Brown. The Dolphins beat the Steelers to go to 6-0. Two more TD passes for Dan Marino. Seattle figured this was the week to get the Raiders but L.A.'s 28-14 win proved who was really greater. For the Cowboys, St. Louis has never really been too hard, but yesterday an upset. A Dallas win just wasn't in the cards. Indianapolis found out the Redskins have come alive. This was all Washington. Seven just doesn't stack up to 35. Eagle fans have thoughts about what might have been. They've got just two wins. Buffalo, victim number two by 10. And our Monday nighter is the New York Giants at home in the Meadowlands against the undefeated 49ers. And I fully expect the Giants to win that game tonight. The professional women's bowlers tour is in Conway, Arkansas. It's the Greater Little Rock Classic, I'm telling you, because Scranton's Patty Costello is third after the first round. That's all of it. Give tonight your best shot, and we'll see you after the football game. Mm, a lot of undefeated high school teams so they're, far. They're whittling mm -hmm. down, though, slowly but surely. Mm -hmm. And you're okay. really taking the Giants yes. tonight, huh? Okay, we'll see, Joe. Okay. What a fan. <laughs> 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 and stay with us. We'll hook up three engines and set a new record. That's what happened in Scranton today, and we'll blow the whistle in just a moment.
Warm up to winter with a friend, the Alaska Company. And now, with the purchase of any Alaska coal or wood stove, you pay only a 9% interest rate. That's only a 9% interest rate when you buy this coal wood parlor stove with decorative brass trim and cathedral glass doors, a coal wood insert, a hot air furnace and water boiler, or any unit from Alaska Company. Remember, Alaska Company is offering a 9% interest rate on the purchase of any coal or wood unit. Warm up to winter with a friend, the Alaska Company. You're looking at a tough competitor, the Olympian 2 tire from Kmart. Since we introduced the Olympian name last year, we've competed against the best and sold over a million. Steel belt, all-season tread, a 45,000-mile warranty, and it's made by Uniroy. Now you can get all this on sale as low as $36. Our price makes this tough competitor even tougher at K-Care Auto Centers across the USA. It took three, count them, three engines to pull today's load of holiday travelers aboard the 1230 Steamtown Run. The special Columbus Day excursions today drew record crowds to Scranton's Hilton Hotel, the starting point for the train rides. On this run, 1,200 riders, 17 cars were loaded with kids off from school, as well as others who may have had this day off of work. Steamtown officials have been delighted with the business. Yesterday, a total of 1,874 tickets were sold for the Sunday run to Elmhurst. That makes over 20,000 riders taking the old-time passenger runs in the first four weeks. Sure looks like fun. Mm -hmm. What a terrific way to enjoy all that beautiful fall foliage That's out right. too. That's right.